They have a lot. They don't last in the shit. Back then, they will laugh at the shit. I look forward to the direction he goes Man. in. Like, you've introduced me to Aiko, and I thank you for it, because this. He's a dope artist. He's a dope artist. They get thrown, now I dance with your bitch. Black song, I advanced everything. He's a really switched on humble dude, man. And I really hope he puts on hugely for Peru and also for the fucking world. Remember all those nuts I bust to you. Just by the time you watch this video, I probably busted six nuts to your music. Damn, son. Oh bless you. Ah, no! We're Jungle ah. Sneeze Beats. My name is Sneezy, and this is Doc. I'm Alexander Sandalis, aka Sandy Sand. And we're reviewing one of the ah, man. greatest Disney movies of all time, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Absolutely. What's your favorite Seven Dwarf? Sneezy. Hello. Obviously. It was always bashful. I liked it, it was like, oh jeez, and like holds his beard and twirls around. Anyway, we're here today to review A Carl. <laughs> Uh, latest six track EP. Who's Aka? For those who don't know, Spanish artist. Aka, is he Spanish? Argent. Damn it. Ah, he's, uh, he's a Peruvian. Aka is a Peru. Peruvian singer, songwriter, and producer born in Peru. Hence Peruvian. Could you say it with less surprise? I'm kidding. It was good. <laughs> Peruvian. We're reviewing a six track, 18 minute album right here called. Exotic Gaz. Ex mm. And it's keeping the theme because his first album was Welcome to Gazi. His mm -hmm. second album was On Gaz. So he's keeping the, Ga the Gaz Gazi theme. I think it's like his label, his crew, oh, what okay. he puts on for. Okay. So Exotic Gaz, there's a track on it called Exotica. So he's, he's keeping the theme. And we really liked his single, uh, El Duante. I think it was. Really dope single. Really liked the, the sound and what he was going for. Mixed with a lot of his, a lot of this, the language. El Duena. La Duena. Really dope. So, being a huge fan of his music and both of his albums just missing out of my top 10s those years. Like, legit, 11 and 12. He's a really cool artist. He's, he yeah. has this weird hybrid blend of R&B and, and uh, sensual, sexy yeah. vibe. He just, he just oozes sex. Mm. And just if you watch interviews with him, he's just such a calm, humble, collected dude who knows... He just, he just knows who he is. He knows what he's doing. Let's get to it, Let's man. start this bitch. A-Cal's the future, bro. What's the first track? Type. I ain't got no type. Bad bitches is the only thing that I like. You ain't just in love. Oh, this is like a blend. Yeah. You hear that? Like Spanish, I mean, yeah. Peruvian. Yeah, it's got the. He's never done this. You already know I'm going fuck to this. Y'all already know hey, Cal. Ooh, that bit. Bring the it beat. back. The beat is sick. Yes. That's a really strong opener. It's a really strong opener. That's a really, that's really good, man. The the blend, the hybrid blend of like European influence and Western influence is is is. is I'll be honest. I busted the most nuts to Acal. For real? More than any other artist. Which yeah. album? Uh, second one on Gaz. But in general, and after hearing this, it's just gonna get higher. Look at me, Acal, in the eyes. Think of all the nuts you've busted. All the busted up to your music, man. A lot of semen. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, that was a really that was a really strong opener. Really catchy, really fun. Can't help but move. Oh, just makes you want to just angrily just stomp your feet in a fucking club and just try and pick up the most beautiful woman you can. I don't know. <laughs> it was dope. I fuck with it, man. You change. You change. You haven't done a track like that before. This is good. You're evolving. 
It's great. It's good to see. I fuck with it. The yellow. We got a video too. I'm gonna be watching it. This is going back. You want to see Chief Keith Moon? This one looks like we're gonna get you high like this. Well, we're gonna get you high like this. Very similar, right? Right. Yeah, from the Untitled on Master. Yes. Beats sick. It's like a little off as well. Yeah, that off little, kilter. Little, mm. Like, yeah, he's representing his culture. It's great. Yes, he is. <laughs> yes, he is. God damn. That's crazy. I didn't know horse could do that. That's yeah. It's like doing a fucking wheelie. God damn, bro. That's a ten. <laughs> What do you think the horse imagery represents? Because uh, Rosalie's used that before too. Yeah, she has. I think it just represents their culture a lot. Switch up. Damn, yeah, big switch up. Interesting. It's like he was trapped in the horse pen and then he disappeared like that. Like that's got to represent something. And then all the lights went crazy. The the switch up to a really sensual, seductive, yeah, drugged out feel and vibe. And that beat was very reminiscent of the Kendrick Lamar track from Untitled Masked, Untitled, whatever the fucking number it was. <laughs> like, yeah. now it's going to get you highlighted as well. This yeah. is going to get you highlighted. No, no, no. Really, really cool oh. take on it. Love the off kilterness of it. And like I said, the switch up. So it was a very hazy track actually, because the whole time his vocals never really hit the notes that we used to hearing from him. He kept it really hazy. So it was kind of like, had that really sort of, like he was drugged out on something or like something was like consuming him. But that's, the, he, he delivers it so well. He does. Uh, really dope video, love the neon effect. Love how he represents his culture within here. It's, it's dope. If any of you have the Instagram handle of that, um, that model in that video, uh, send it to Alexander Mann. If you would like to know. If not, it's fat bank material. Okay. I mean, it's uh, it's a uh, uh, she eighteen. <laughs> Tis the joke now. I ain't gonna live that down. Yeah, but only select few people know from the Billy Eilish because not everyone saw it. That's true. So it's like it's, it's JB stands. This is why you gotta hit the notifications. It is. It's exactly why it is. Oh, so Dejalo is just okay. Hey. Then we got this. Nice listen to that. Go like, yeah, go like last minute. Except this. So they're both shorter versions. So we we gonna go from Indigo Girl. Yeah. To the next. Very, very tired of the creative way of doing a video, including another clip in, in the same video. Pump fake. So far, three for three. What's a pump fake? That's a basketball move, isn't it? <laughs> so you fake, you fake the shot. <laughs> Spacey production. Cohesive. Sounds like Akon. I hate Akon. I'll be honest, this isn't the turn I wanted for this album. Is this him? I think it is, yeah. He's very, he's got a very big vocal range. I think it's him. Yeah, you might be right. Beats fire though. Yeah, the beat the beat is still cool, but like <sighs> the, the delivery on the chorus is what lets us down. We don't need that type of Akon inspiration. I mean, it's not the worst. It's just not. It's, not, it's just not what I wanted. Yeah, it's not, after hearing the first track, it's especially. So strong. And then the the next two tracks, like the way that they blended between each other, even the video, like. They followed so beautifully from the first. So the first three tracks held my attention and they were all quite different. But this track right here, it's a miss from me, AK. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, I've, uh, I'm unfortunately Spotify shuffled this. So what you just heard, what we just heard was the last track. What so, was it called? 
Was Pump fake. What? That was the last track. Yeah, so unfortunately Shuffle was on. But there's only two tracks in between. Yeah, so we know that the last track is pretty bad. What no, a it's bad. interesting why he would want to end there. Let's go to... Uh, What's track four? Zero, 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 zero. No, track four is zero, 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 zero. Are you sure? Ooh. So this is from Indigo Girl to Into this, yeah. So Indigo Girl is really smooth. It's my bad. Babe, it's okay. Will you forgive me? Will you be my way? It's a fast life, mommy, things don't change. I can't be a man with you. It's so cold when you're there, you go. But mommy, no, then it's the same thing. No, 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 no. Um, very like hypnotizing, very repetitive, but like uh, I still feel fits in within the theme sonically of this album. Maybe a bit more radio friendly. Um, it's kind of like a laid back, hypnotizing, more R and B style track that you didn't like. What well, haven't even spoken yet? Tell me how you feel. Tell me why you love that. It was so generic. When that drum, like the intro, had me. Captured, I was like, okay, these synths are nice. But then when that, boom, when those drums came in with the exact same. Because you heard them so many times. I've heard that before. melody so many times. And the reason why Akol captured me is that the way that he does pop R&B, he always uses a lot of different style. He just, has, he just has his own sort of edge to it that makes it his. I hear this. And even the way he uses vocals, he's kind of altered them a little bit. Like, I feel like he's just turned this track into what I... Is exactly the opposite of why I like Dekal to begin with. Hmm. Like there's still elements of the two different cultures that he's representing, but it's just taken in a way which is just so generic that it takes away from the art of what I originally liked about him. Fair enough. So I I'm not a merit. fan of this track whatsoever. It's it's, it's just so safe. It's I such still, a safe track. I still enjoyed it. Hey man, as long as you enjoyed it, bro, that's all that matters, eh? Is it? Yeah, bro. Fuck that, what I think. <laughs> Fuck what I think. It's Last interesting because the, the first three tracks, were really good. Four, four tracks were, were quite on their own. But I don't mind this because this is an EP. I'm thinking, and all the tracks have been quite different. Maybe this is like a test to a lot of his fans to see what direction he wants to go into. Because so far, if he had a direction like the very first track, 10 tracks of that, give it to me. What about 10 tracks of what we just heard? Fuck no. What about 10 tracks of the last track? Fuck no. So you don't know what direction it could go. Zayka, you heard of him? This is better. See, his voice is more him now. Last track was it? There we go. <laughs> that was that like guitar? I like it. Yeah. Come on, bro. Come on, son. Is she just picking him up? Yeah, fuck it. I like how he goes to church, like. Remember God, I'm getting laid. <laughs> Gone to Santa Monica. Really catchy, you know vibrant. Yeah, much better. Pretty. More of the essence is just why I like Aiko. He has his own flavor embedded into the sounds that we're hearing. I don't really have much to say, man. I'm just really enjoying generally most of this music. That's what Aiko is to me. Like I said, he's mainly my bedroom music. Even the tracks I don't like, I'll probably still fuck them because they're just good tracks. 
still, yeah, it has a sensual, <sighs> sexy undertone throughout all of it. Also, if I'm like kind of feeling a bit low, or if I'm feeling like I need a bit of like, it's just something to put on that I just generally just really just vibe to. Like, it's just really good vibe music for the genre that it is. Mm. It's pop that I liked. I didn't like two tracks in here, but honestly, it's still a pretty good EP. The first three tracks especially, and this track right here. I look forward to the direction he goes yeah. in. Like, you've introduced me to Aiko, and I thank you for it, because this... He's a dope artist. He's a dope artist and some cool visuals. I just, and especially, out, like I said, watch my interviews with him. He's a really switched on humble dude, man. And I really hope he puts on hugely for Peru and also for the fucking world. With Jungle Beats, that was Acal. Exotic as. It was all right. I don't think it was as good as his first two albums, but fuck it, it's an EP. He's experimenting. He's doing a lot of different shit. Keep doing your thing, Acal. I fuck with you heavy. Huh? Remember all those nuts I bust to you. Just by the time we watch this video, I probably busted six nuts to your music. Damn, son. That's a lot <laughs> of nuts. We're jumping peace. 150, I'm feeling weightless. No volcano, I'm feeling faceless. Haven't seen you in a while. I ran out, you ran out of patience. I'm trying to get it together.